we'll go ahead and delete some of this stuff here so that I can show you a few of the other features. We'll go ahead and we'll just add taco al pastor, torta, this is cena. And then these, this is one of the other things. We use this to separate the orders if um, they're not going to be paying separate, but uh, we want them separated. Uh, and then we could do uh, a burrito de bistec with no aguacate. an order of rice and beans along with three tacos especiales al pastor. Now one of the things we could do is if we exit we wanted this one up here um, we could use these arrows to move the food. So if you notice it's up uh, it moved it up to the top and now it's only the rice and beans at the bottom. And this is really important when um, you're using the customers thing and I'll show you guys that in a second and now it's all the way at the top it knows that these red lines mean to keep this together so if I press the down it'll move it to under the red line if I do it again you'll notice it goes under the red line if you had multiple things there it wouldn't do that um, if these lines were in here it would just go up one in one step so if I delete these lines and I do the rice for example the taco uh, especial, it'll go over the burrito with no aguacate. So it's smart enough to know um, what's an attribute, um, when things are being separated and keeps them separated correctly. Another really important feature for us is the customer separator, which is basically a split check, just uh, really revamped and I'll show you guys that here in a second. That's this button here and what we'll do is we'll click and it says customer one. So customer one wants a combo. Um, we'll do that and then we click customer two. It automatically knows that it's customer two. Um, we'll do I'm not going to do too much here so we can move this along. Um, and then we'll do a bebida, we'll do a, a bottle of water. And then we hit customer again, and we'll do, we'll do three customers. This way it can be separated, you don't need the lines, because um, they're going to be paying separate. So uh, we'll do um, a burrito, the tripas, which is delicious, and an order of... Uh, so now we have this and um, they come to pay and instead of having to go in and separate this um, you click on the scissors and you have the three customers separated when it comes time to pay uh, also if you really wanted to you could imp you could put a person's name on here and the receipt would have their name um, but if this person was coming to pay come here this pops up, obviously it goes to the cash first. Um, you would, if the total is 872, they give you 20. You click OK. Tells you what the change is. And now customer two is left. Or you could simply click OK and come here. And now it does the entire order if those two people decided they wanted to pay together now or back here and this this will work if you do and you'll also notice that that food is now gone from here and the only thing left is customer two and customer three another one of the important things that we need in in restaurants is um, the ability for different attributes and we handle that here, which is this box here, which is the no, solo, poco, nada. Um, it's all the different sort of uh, things that you can do differently on anything. If it's a, a more of a fine dining restaurant, then you know it would be um, a little salt or um, no pepper, things like that. And um, these are the most common. So termino medio suave. Uh, if they wanted dorada, things like that. You can also combine meats at an extra, at an extra charge. 
if we wanted to, if it was a, a burrito de tripas, but it also, they wanted the tripas mixed with el pastor, you could do that, and it's just combinación de carne, um, and we don't charge for doing that. Um, but we also have this thing called vermesera, and this is specific to each one of these uh, categories. So the vermesera for tacos and quesadillas is no grasa en la tortilla, verdura al lado, una tortilla, um, things like that that are not as, as common, so we didn't make uh, direct buttons for them. And um, if for some reason it's not in any of this and there's, so, there's something very particular that the customer wants, then there's just the vermesera here. And um, that way the cook can then get a hold of whoever's in the front and ask them, okay, well, uh, what, what's the deal with this? Um, but and you'll notice that this one, vermesera, no, is different to the vermesera that's in, for example, desayunos. This would be you no know, yema, things that have to do with with uh, breakfast food. We also have a special cuaresma stuff here. You'll notice that um, tacos, tortas, and burritos also have a different. Another thing that we added was the ability to automatically refresh. So as soon as you click the kitchen button or the print button um, and the food gets sent out to the kitchen and the beverage printer and everything like that, um, as soon as you come out, this page refreshes and actually all the pages refresh so that you're completely up to date and live as to what's going on in the restaurant. Um, you, we also have a manual reload button. If the software hasn't been moving in a while, you can uh, manually reload. Um, another feature is the background colors change. Um, it's white because we haven't sent this to the kitchen to print yet. You'll notice in this order here that was already sent, the background is green. So uh, one of the issues was waitresses and waiters saying that they had sent the order and they didn't know what was wrong and didn't print and we couldn't find any errors and when we added this feature in um, they started noticing that they would make mistakes and accidentally log out without ever sending the food so this was um, a really great check and balance we also worked on security things um, we made different levels, uh, managers, assistant managers, um, things like that, so that certain features are only available to the people in charge. Um, we also made it so that only certain registers can actually charge. Um, and that was so that a girl couldn't charge or a waiter couldn't charge on one of the registers that didn't have a cash drawer. Um, because once you figure that out, you realize that if you charge there and you never, you can just take the money and since no till is ever done on them, that money just adds up. Um, and we realized that one pretty quickly. So yeah, it disables basically any of the, anything that has to do with receiving payments. And um, since I'm an administrator, I can pretty much do everything. Um, the other um, things that we added was the voids. And we'll go ahead and we'll do that right now. And that's the ability for uh, only a manager to be able to void items. If you input a taco de viste, uh, um, if it hasn't been printed, you can simply delete it. Anybody can, and um, no big deal. But if you put in a taco and then you uh, hit kitchen, it's green now, and you go to delete it, it asks you for the reason, and um, and this actually isn't even available if you're not um, a manager. So uh, you ask for the reason. If it's another motive, you can go here. We could add a keyboard here if you wanted to, and you could actually type in the reason. Um, we don't have any need for it, but it can it can be done. You click OK, and it deletes the item. A receipt prints saying what the void was. Um, that's being tracked in our reporting that I'll show you uh, here in a bit and that way there's no issues at the end of the day. There's also a lot of other stuff that we did uh, with security that we won't get into in these videos. 
Um, but um, the next thing I want to get into was the ability to add tips to stuff. Um, if we have a, and we'll go to pay. This is another thing that we changed was um, if you were to swipe your card on this screen, it would put it in like you just gave them like $10 billion because it would take the actual um, card number and put it as if it were cash and that was never fun so we changed a few of the settings on here and now if you swipe it from this screen it realizes that it's a credit card and this screen pops up and asks you if you'd like to uh, put a tip with it um, if you put the tip in as you know four dollars uh, you click OK it'll process a transaction um, I don't feel like doing that right now <laughs> but um, it will um, print out the receipt for the customer and a receipt for in-house and also the slip that gets signed. So the tips at the end of the day will show up on the reports um, as an adjustment and that's because obviously you don't want to pay taxes on that stuff so it separates it for you. Um, we added a lot of things to the back end uh, to make it easier to in, to make your own combos, we try to make it as easy as possible for people to be able to add their own stuff. Um, if I want to come in here and I want to add another whole category, I can add another category. If I want to add a taco, I could do that and put the pricing on stuff. Um, we made it so that uh, you can choose the order of your buttons, so that instead of just being alphabetical, that was a bit of a pain. Um, we these are actually not images; the colors that you see. Um, uh, we wrote it in in Java to be able to, you can make a button any color you want and that that's in the back. We can show you that later. Um, we added a cool thing which was the ability to um, make uh, the swipe cards for the um, people and that's right here. I notice like there's Anna and what you do is basically if you're a manager or uh, your Annabelle, for example, or Daniela. Um, you put your cursor here, you swipe your card, and it would show up here. I'll show you how that works real quick. We'll go to Sergio, and this is my, uh, I'm an administrator role. There's different roles, obviously. And if I delete this, I swipe my card, and now it's saved. That's now, I'm visible, and it makes things a lot easier. So I just wanted to kind of go through a brief rundown of some of the stuff. Uh, we added the clock to the top with, uh, with the time, that's really important. Uh, we added the ability to know when an order is inputted, when it's actually delivered. Um, um, it also automatically logs out after a certain amount of idle time. Um, when you open up the software, it checks to see if there's multiple instances running. Also, if you can't open the same table from separate registers because it would delete the order. So it checks now to make sure that nobody uh, has the same table open. Uh, you log out simply by clicking your name down here makes it a lot easier for the girls to get in and out. Um, we added remote printing which allows any terminal to print to any printer as long as they are all connected to the same database which isn't an issue. Um, we added the ability to print in red ink and I'll show you guys those images. I think I, I showed them to you once. Um, but the receipts indent, they italicize, they print in red. It makes it a lot easier for the cooks to read. Um, we added the ability to uh, store a logo in the printer memory instead of uh, on the database and that makes the printing about 45 times faster so you can have your logo and all your receipts and we just fixed a lot of the, the a lot of bugs that worked with the com printers um, and there's really a lot lot more stuff <laughs> that uh, we could go over and this I was planning on making about a five to six minute video but um, I apologize for going so much over and um, wish I could show you guys more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this Android set up and 
unfortunately we don't have a ton of time left. It's about 2 a.m. where we're at. So I'll show you guys the basic thing. I'll show you uh, inputting an order, uh, printing in the kitchen, all that. So um, I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll be talking soon.